Section 3.3 .3 is configuring and verifying IPv4 and IPv6 static routing. Static routing is one of the simplest ways to tell the router exactly where to send traffic. Unlike dynamic routing protocols like OSPF and EIGRP, static routes are manually configured by a network administrator. And they don't change unless you update them, making them predictable but less adaptable. Static routes are useful for small networks, backup or failover paths, specific traffic engineering, and default gateways. In this section, we will configure and verify different static routes. Starting with the default route. This is a route that matches all destination address when no other more specific route exists in the routing table. This is often called the gateway of last resort. A static default route typically uses the IP address 0.0.0.0/0 for IPv4 or double colon slash zero for IPv6 as the destination network representing all possible IP addresses. A default route acts as a fallback mechanism, ensuring that packets destined for unknown networks are forwarded to a specific point for further processing. Static default routes are frequently used when connecting a network to the internet, allowing all outbound traffic to be directed to the internet service provider's gateway. For example, if no default route is set, the router will discard all packets with destination addresses not found in its routing table. This is how we configure default route in IPv4. IP route is the command to configure a static route in IPv4. Next is the destination network plus the subnet mask. Here it means any network or the default route. 192.168.1.1 is the next hop IP address or the gateway where packets will be sent if no better match exists. We can verify the static route configured with the command show IP route static. And look for S which means it's a static route and the asterisk means it's a candidate default route. And this is how we configure a static route for IPv6. IPv6 route is the command to configure static IPv6 routes. Double colon slash zero is the IPv6 default route for all networks. And this is the next hop IPv6 address. To verify the IPv6 static route, we use the command show IPv6 route static. Under S, it will show the default static route and next hop configured. Next is the network static route. Network route is a static route that points to an entire network, not just one host. A real-world use case would be branch A router knows how to reach branch B's network through the WAN link. This is how to configure network routes on IPv4. The IP route command configures a static route in IPv4. 192.168.20.0 is the destination network address. 255.255.255.0 is the subnet mask for the destination network. And 10.1.1.2 is the next hop router IP to reach the network. And to verify the network route, we use the command show IP route static. And we can see from the output under S that the destination network, mask, and next hop were configured. To configure network route in IPv6, we use the command IPv6 route. This is the destination IPv6 network. And this is the next hop IPv6 address. Next is the host route. In static routing, a host route specifically directs traffic to a single, individual device, a host, rather than an entire network. 
This is achieved by using a slash 32 subnet mask, ensuring that the route only matches the exact IP address specified. This is how we configure host route in IPv4. We put the specific host IP address after IP route. Next is a subnet mask for a single host, which is slash 32 or 255.255.255.255. And the next hop router to reach that host. To configure host route in IPv6 address, we use the command IPv6 route. And just like IPv4, we add a specific host IPv6 address and the IPv6 host route for only one exact address and the next hop IPv6 address. And last in this section is the floating static route. A floating static route provides a secondary path for traffic to reach a destination. This is useful in scenarios where we have two paths to a particular destination and want to use one of them as a primary path and the other one as a backup. The floating static route is configured with a higher administrative distance than a dynamic route, acting as a backup path when the primary dynamic route fails. To configure floating static route, we use the same command as the network route. But the 250 at the end is the administrative distance. Default AD for static routes is 1. Setting it higher means it will only be used if a route with the lower AD is unavailable. For IPv6, it's also same as network route. And the 250 here is also the administrative distance. For exam tips, remember that slash 0 is the default route and slash 32 for IPv4 or slash 128 for IPv6 is for the host route. The IPv6 equivalent of the default route. A static route pointing to an entire network used to direct packets to a specific subnet. A catch-all route used when no other specific match exists. A route to a single host with subnet mask slash 32. A backup static route that has a higher administrative distance than primary route, so it's only used if the primary fails. Command to verify IPv4 static routes. Command to verify IPv6 static routes. A manually configured route that tells the router exactly where to send traffic for a specific destination network bypassing the need for dynamic routing protocols. IPv6 equivalent of a host route.